So hey there, it's our first full day in Penang, the island of Penang here in Malaysia. We're headed to a place called Penang Hill. Our taxi driver yesterday was super helpful, gave us a whole list of things that we should see, and he said that was a must see, so that's what we're doing today. So we'll see you in a bit. So here we are, we're at the entrance of Penang Hill, and it's already noticeably cooler. We didn't come up very far, but we did head into the center of the island. Feels a little cooler. Uh, there's a sprinkle, it's cloudy, but we're here for a limited amount of time, so we don't have many options. And uh, we're going up Penang Hill. So, got anything to say, Kim? Uh, you should be watching my channel, not this. Oh, you have a YouTube channel? <laughs> Are you going to do a YouTube video on this and share with uh, people? Yeah, you know, maybe I will. Maybe I'll just try to make mine better than yours. Okay, do that. Kimberly Sandbox, hers. Subscribe to mine. It's a contest. Yeah. See you guys later. Bye. So, I'll just show you the entrance. We came up that hill over there. And then it's a big, big facility here. So, you know, there's a crowd, but it's not crowded. So, we'll keep you posted on the way up. See you in a bit. So I'm going to work on tickets this way to the ticket counter. Tickets? How many percent? Two people. Thank you. So I'm looking at the pricing right now and the top line looks like the line that's important to us it's a uh, return ticket and we're going to be a regular normal lane it looks like if we were Malaysian we would pay 12 ringgit per person but because we are foreigners we have to pay 30 ringgit which is still about seven dollars uh, we're not going to do the fast lane express we're just going to do the regular lane, and the reason for that is, I think we came on the right day today. Nobody here. Everywhere we go, just about, they get you for photos, and then they upsell you after the fact. So, we don't always buy them, but we did buy the ones at the Patronus Tower. No, the, the, the KL Tower, because they were pretty cool. Uh, so they got us on that. I don't think they're getting us today though. So you can see this is a funicular railway. And I believe that's an incline. And it's a cable car that they, a cable pulling the car up the hill. And it's pretty cool. So I'll let you read that if you want. And I'll see you in a bit. Just in case you wanted any quick stats, I'm going to show them to you. You can stop the video if you want. So there are a few more people in line than outside, but this place must be an absolute madhouse on the weekend. So I'm glad we're coming today. So check this out. They've got an attraction that's called Earthquake Survival and Typhoon Pavilion. And when you open it, they have an earthquake simulator for a 9.1 or a 9 magnitude earthquake. And they also have a typhoon simulator for a super typhoon with winds up to 250 kilometers an hour and rain. Kim's gonna be doing that. Interesting. We went halfway up. We're 
State for a little bit, and then we started going backwards down the hill. And I don't think that's normal. We'll see. Came out of the walkway up, and we are up here. The weather is beautiful. I hear birds. I'm not 100% sure they're real birds. So this is almost feels like a park or an amusement park or a uh, or a zoo. So looking forward to seeing whatever's up here. Pretty cool, huh, Kim? Yeah. So here's a sign. Beach Bellevue Hotel, a mosque, we're probably gonna head that way. A restaurant, Sky Deck East. And this is stuff. I think it's safe to say, even though we've climbed to Mount Everest Base Camp in Nepal this year, and I did the Grand Canyon basically rim to rim, our days of like hiking up hills are over. We're looking at these stairs going. Can we get a ride up there? Yeah. So, let me do a reveal video of how awesome that is in front of us. This appears to be a Hindu temple. You remove your shoes before going in. I'm not gonna go in, but I'll just show you what it looks like from out here. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna surprise Kim with some ice cream. So when she comes out of there, she has something nice and cool. Hopefully that'll score me some brownie points. So we're up here on top of the hill, Penang Hill looking out that way. And we just realized that this is the mainland right here. Oh, we're on the other side. So this is the island here, and that's the, the mainland on the other side. So it shows you how close we are to the actual mainland of Malaysia. There's two bridges that connect the island. I don't see the bridges from here, but it's kind of nice knowing that this island is so close to the mainland and it's easily accessible by car. We flew, which was really low cost from Kuala Lumpur or ferry. So hope that gives you an idea of where we are and what we're doing. See you in a bit. A little history for you too. This was a British colony. I don't remember up until what year, 1890 something or something. So here's a cannon, 39214. I don't know what that would mean. Oh yeah, maybe February 14th, 1939. And there's the crown and there's another crest right there. So I wonder if that cannon ever shot. So I don't think you can really see it really well, but there's one of the bridges right there. I'll try to zoom in, show you. So, uh, not too far from the mainland, which is right over there, not showing up really good. It's pretty hazy today, but nonetheless, pretty cool to be up here. So here's Penang Hill Mosque. So check this out. And 
we plan on going out there. Looks like we're gonna buy tickets over there. But looks pretty awesome. Got a monkey right there. He's minding his own business, but I heard some people screaming up the road. There's one in the middle of the road. So we got this millipede out here. And look what we got. There's a millipede for you. We're going on a sky bridge, honey. Yay. You're thrilled. Which one would you suggest? I think I understand which one you would suggest. Yeah, so for the first time, I would suggest you go for number one. That's the one I was going to go for. Sure. Kim? It be a mix of everything, right? It's a mix of So this is a VR experience, and we're going to do the wild immersion. It's going to be fun of the wild world tour. Looking forward to it. Oh, this Kim right there. What do you see, Kim? Look at me, what do you see when you look over here? There's, like it's in the inlet. All right, thanks. Ocean. We'll see you in a minute. I'll be right there with you. So Kim, what were your thoughts on the wild immersion virtual reality experience? It was fun. I would recommend it. Really cool, really cool experience. For sure. You yeah. know what? I go to places in the States, like Dave and Buster's, and they've got virtual, virtual reality experiences where you fly like a fighter jet or something, and it's like $6 for like three minutes. This was less than $6 for 10 to 12 minutes, and the quality was excellent, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good. It was really yeah, good. we'd recommend this, yeah. so definitely. Do this. Definitely. Two thumbs up. So I may have said it in another video, I just want to remind you guys right now about Malaysia. They do still have a mask mandate, but you have to wear a mask inside. If you are outside, no masks are required. So that's a little bit of a bonus because we spend a lot of time outside. So, you know, the masks are still an inconvenience, but you know, coming here, no entry restrictions and no mask while you're outside. Definitely something to consider if you're thinking of a place to travel. Uh, there's a lot of uh, information boards throughout the park. So if you're interested in this, you can just hit pause and read what it has to say. So check it out. We just entered the canopy walk. And we're going to be up 100, 100 and something feet, maybe higher at spots. So I'll show you, share uh, clips as we go. Hello. Hello I'll show you just how high up we are. So those are pretty tall trees there. And going down and down and down all the way to the floor. I would estimate we're 60, 80, maybe 100 feet up. It's not really well marked, but make sure when you get to different junctions that you keep an eye open for Curtis Crest because that's Curtis Crest up there. And I think we'd be disappointed if we missed something like that. So we'll see you in a bit. So check it out. We get to go up about four levels. Yeah, this is really cool. This is really cool. And you know, it's at the crest of the hill and it's above the trees. So we're gonna see 360 degree views around the island. just show you the two bridges so there's one bridge right there uh, that's the northern bridge because I'm facing east yeah I'm facing east 
and then there's a little island out there but look at all the high rises and stuff which makes it way different than Koh Samui and then the other bridge is right out there um, I'm gonna put my finger on the screen the other bridge is right out there I don't know if you can see it so really cool though so it's a relatively small island when I pulled them up on Google I pulled up this island and I pulled up Koh Samui and you'll see that these two islands are about similar size I'd say this has more natural greenery. Kosamui has got a lot of farms and durian trees and stuff like that. This is more unspoiled jungle and you know tropical forest. So let me tell you, if flowers interest you, you're gonna want to go to Kimberly Sandbox, Kim's channel. I'm not gonna bore you with all these beautiful flowers, but you get the point. She's taken pictures of all of them and is happy to share them with you. A little table out here with some crabs and some whip scorpions and some lichen and some pine cones and some trapdoor spiders and a tarantula and scorpions a trilobite beetle which I thought were extinct and the millipede the centipede that really bites you if it gets you so here's some of the animals that can be found out here you can just stop the video if you want to read any more about them. It's pretty cool knowing all these are out here in the wild. Kim was intrigued by the coral snake, but then she saw the speckled belly keel back. And if you look like up there, it has fangs on its rear. And there's even more frogs and monkeys and lizards and squirrels and pit vipers and gliding lizards oriental whip snake and sundu kalugo which is a flying lemur and look at where we have arrived to the coffee shop we get coffee and we get a piece of cake in here so this was included in our ticket price I'll summarize the ticket again at the end, but we got two iced coffees and a walnut carrot cake. So, looks good, great day, huh, Kim? Would you recommend people do this? Mm -hmm. Especially on a day like this, when the weather was like this, it was pretty much perfect. Yeah, I mean, it only affects your view. It yeah. does affect your view, but I mean, what else would you do? It's not like it's a good beach day. Nice little gift shop and a nice little coffee shop on the way out. There's a bat right there. Whoa. He's gonna come back. He's gonna come back. Here comes a bat. <laughs> maybe, maybe he'll pay, can pay Kim a visit. Yeah, Kim, if a fruit bat flew at you, you would freaking lose your <laughs> You would lose everything. I probably would, but you know what? I've held one, and they're super cute. They look like little dogs. If one flew at you, a flying dog coming at your head? <laughs> yeah, okay. You would like that a lot better than that little cute little bat. Bye-bye. <laughs> Kim, shouldn't you tell them about something? Hey, then you want to eh?
So I think I'll end this video right here. Today was a day, if you're in the area, you need to put this on your list. And I would highly suggest doing it on not a Saturday or a Sunday. Friday, today was a holiday in some parts of Malaysia, but a weekday would be fantastic. I can just imagine how crazy this place would be on a Saturday or Sunday. But again, highly recommend it. Um, Penang Hill, um, take the train up there and do as many things as you can. Uh, we didn't do the earthquake or the, or the typhoon, but that would have been nice. Um, they have zip lining, but I don't think it was open. It wasn't open. It wasn't open, but they have a bunch of things up there you can do and really enjoy your day. So for me, I'm out. That's it. And um, if you see any more, you'll have to watch her video, Kimberly Sandbox.